Well, hey there, folks. I'm meteorologist Matt Barentine, the Fox 10 News Now Center, getting everything set up for the uh, brand new look at Cristobal because we do have the uh, new numbers uh, just coming in here a few minutes ago. I was live on air on Fox 10. We'll be doing it at the top of every hour, so if you can't catch us here on Facebook or on YouTube, you can always just uh, click on your TV and go to fox10tv.com. We'll be coming on top of every hour with all the latest numbers and uh, thoughts and forecast for uh, Cristobal here as it uh, as it approaches us. Once again, I'm meteorologist Matt Barentine. Thanks for everybody uh, now clicking on and starting to join. So let's go ahead and talk about this storm and what we're going to be looking at. Obviously, this is the 3D look here. And um, the center of circulation is here. It's about due, almost due south of us or due south of the Mississippi River. And there are some clouds around the center, but not very many. Most of the action is far to the east. And this was totally expected. We knew this from the start was going to be a lopsided storm. There's dry air on the west side of this thing. There's some shear in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So it's just not a good environment for a tropical system. The water temperature out there just isn't really warm enough to support it either. So this thing isn't growing into any monster or anything like that. It's going to keep its winds down there fairly uh, on the low side, 50 to 60 miles an hour. Right now they are at 50. Uh, they might bump up a little bit to around 60, but you can see how poorly organized this thing is. I mean, that's the center. Not a whole lot of clouds around it, and the, all the action is breaking off to the east here. So um, just not a well-organized system, but once again, this is exactly what was expected. This is, this is what happens with so many of these early season storms. They generally tend to be uh, very uh, lopsided. They tend to be uh, not very pretty as far as storms are concerned. Here's what it looks like with the radar, so you can see the rain. There's the spin of the center. It's almost due south of New Orleans. It's right there. You can actually see it there. And look at all this heavy rain. In fact, the heaviest rain now is going to go over towards Tampa and Sarasota, even down to Fort Myers. So even though it's coming up closer to us, they're going to be getting all the heavy rain from this late this afternoon. So this is, and once again, when you have a weak system like this, they sort of broaden out, they spread out, and they can impact a large area. That's what this one is doing. All right, so closer in. Here's the rain that we're seeing out there right now. So you look outside your window. It's gray. It's dark. Uh, and if you're in certain places, you're getting some rain because there is rain falling right now. Let me go ahead and zoom down a little bit closer. You can see across Mobile County. And you can see how these are working their way from east to west here across the area. And some heavier showers right now along I-10. When you get into these, they're like, they're like squalls. They quickly pick up and get a little bit of gusty wind. And I'm not very, not very high gusts at this point. And over here towards the panhandle, things are starting to really fill in across the panhandle. Most of it's a, just a moderate rain. A few spots where you see those yellows a little bit heavier there north of Milton. But most of it's just a, a light to moderate rain here for us at this point. So we're getting the rain. The rain bands have started coming on in this afternoon, which once again was expected and, and anticipated. Here's what it looks like on the tropical track. This is the brand new one, just came in at the top of the hour. So what's changed? Nothing absolutely nothing this has been incredibly well modeled well forecasted system for about the past week the model's been spot on with this thing the whole time even though it did a weird little loop down there it weakened and regained strength down in mexico stalled for a little while over mexico then started to work its way back north um, so even though it did that the models picked that all up the the forecast national hurricane center has been picked that up and the whole time the forecast has been for it to come in somewhere in southeast louisiana I mean, you can see how narrow that cone is at this point. It's, it's basically centered on top of Grand Isle, Louisiana. Once again, the Senate and the winds are 60 is what they have forecast for. So it's not likely that this thing will have enough time to grow or really the ability to grow into a hurricane. It's not organized enough. The water is not warm enough. So we're looking just at a solid middle of the road tropical storm. And... Um, you see the center coming in over in Louisiana, but keep in mind, once again, all the weather's on the east side of this thing. So we're going to be getting a lot of rain out of this system. So nothing has changed as far as what we're going to see. We're going to get a good bit of rain. That's going to be really the main thing out of this. Surface is going to be rough. There'll be a few other little things. Uh, also, we have to watch out. Whenever you have a landfalling tropical system on the east side, you do have to watch out for isolated, brief, weak tornadoes. It won't be a big threat, but it is something we'll keep an eye on for you. Once again, I don't think it'll be much of a threat, but it's always a possibility, so I can't completely discount it. All right, so future cast. 7 o'clock tonight, going to 9 o'clock tonight. You can see basically these rain bands just keep wrapping around. And for tonight, most of these rain bands will be fairly light. Uh, it's when we get to tomorrow morning, things should start to pick on up. Here we are going around 5 to 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. And here comes the bulk of the heavy rain beginning to work its way now into parts of Mississippi and Louisiana. We may even have some breaks here in between bands, but look, watch how it fills back in. 
and then look here, we're around 4 o'clock, really heavy rain. And, and the other big difference here is, too, I know a lot of folks, everybody, whenever I'm looking at my, the Facebook feed, I know what everybody does. How much am I going to get in Theodore? How much am I going to get in, in Evergreen? How much am I going to... So the best way I can break that down for you, and I'll show you an accumulation uh, forecast in a second, is that this it's going to look like this. It's going to look like the southwestern corner of our viewing area is going to get a lot of rain. At least five inches, maybe as much as eight inches of rain from Mobile to southern Mobile County, Dolphin Island, Grand Bay. Then as you step back, it'll get a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less. So, you know, we could be talking about three or four inches to Atmore. We could be talking about only one to two inches once you get farther inland. So it's, it's going to be stepped back like that as far as these rainfall totals are concerned. And I'll show you that here in a second. You can see, look at Sunday at 7. This is going to be the time tomorrow night is when we're getting our heaviest rain, likely our gustiest winds as well with this system. And that continues on into the evening hours. Look at that's 10 o'clock. The center of circulation at this point is probably like right around Lake Pontchartrain area, right over the, uh, the bridge there on I-10 uh, I that cuts across. So what are the estimates? So this is from uh, the European model. And it's been pretty good the last few days with the forecasting of it. And this hasn't changed a whole lot. Usually when I look at these things, I really, I, must, I, get, hes I get hesitant to put them on air because they change so much. Each model run every, you know, we, they run the models every six hours and sometimes they can be wildly different. You could get six inches on one hour, one, one run of the model, get two inches the next. Or, you know, it just goes all over the place. This one's been pretty consistent. And once again, here's what I'm talking about with the rainfall you know, being much heavier in the southwestern corner of our viewing area, much lighter as you step it back. Even the Panhandle not showing quite as much rain, but three and a half in Pensacola, seven in Daphne, those eight in, in Mobile. Once again, don't get too locked in saying, oh, we're getting eight inches of rain in Mobile. It's just a possibility. It's a good possibility, though, at this point, because of the way the storm is coming in. I think we'll see a decent amount of rain, multiple inches of rain in Mobile, Dolphin Island, Grand Bay. We should see some pretty big totals, enough to cause nuisance road flooding, um, some low-lying areas, it's possible you could have some issues. Um, and then, of course, certainly the roads are going to be an issue. Yeah, you know, you get, with some of these rain bands set up, we'll get a couple of inches an hour. When that happens, you get that much water at the same time, the roads just become an absolute mess. So you got to watch out for that. So please be careful if you limit your driving, if possible. I know a lot of folks, you still got to go to work. You know, I'll have to drive into some of this because of work. Uh, so you just got to be careful as you can. So here's what we're looking at it, the uh, wind gusts. In fact, did I stop that? Yes, there we are. So tomorrow morning, wind's coming in out of the, mainly out of the east. You can see the wind gusts along the, the beach is still only in the 20s, not too bad there. It'll pick up as the day goes along. But here we are around 3 o'clock. You can see now, now the wind gusts starting to pick up 30 miles an hour down at the beaches, 20 miles an hour around I-10. And we'll probably see our highest wind gust tomorrow night. We'll, but once again, you notice these numbers, they are not, um, these are the wind gusts, they are not tropical storm strength. So we may not get uh, tropical storm strength winds here. If we do, it'll be down on Dauphin Island <laughs> or on Fort, Fort Gaines. So we're not going to see uh, Fort Morgan. We're not going to see, um, uh, we're probably not going to see sustained winds of tropical storm strength inland. It'll be breezy, but just not going to be quite that strong. So wind is not going to be a big issue for most of us with this system. Uh, one of the, the big concerns here, obviously, it's the weekend and a lot of folks are visiting. This is a big concern. I mean, tomorrow the seas are going to be up 15 to 20 feet. That'll translate to some massive waves here along the shore. And we want to keep folks out of the water because there'll be a very dangerous and deadly surf. So we want to hopefully keep folks out of the water here for tomorrow, especially hopefully at today as well because I know it's starting to get rough. Isolated tornadoes are also possible. I talked about that. They'd be brief. They'd be weak. Heavy rain Sunday and Monday through, through Monday. And then possibility of still some more rain Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's what we're looking at here. Uh, go and see. And there's one more look here at the current situation with those rain bands wrapping in. So there it is. Um, the, <laughs> I mean, it's, once again, this is, there's been no surprises with this system as of, as of yet. Uh, it's basically following its script and it's doing exactly what we expected it to do. Uh, we'll continue to get rain. Uh, rain will pick up. I mean, I'm looking outside our studio door right now, seeing the we're getting into one of these little little bands right now, and I can see it starting to rain. And this will just pick up here as we go through tonight and go into tomorrow. And some of the heavier bands likely come in tomorrow night. So we'll 
And so tomorrow, I mean, it won't be like it rains from dusk to dawn. There will be some breaks with these bands, but they'll, the rain will be out there a good bit of the day and at times pretty heavy, especially when you get to some of these uh, rain bands and that gets a bit squally with a good bit of a breeze. Nothing that we can't handle, though. It's a tropical storm. We've been through plenty of these before, and uh, we're going through one now and through tomorrow. So uh, just be prepared for it. Limit your driving if you can because the roads will get pretty sloppy. Otherwise, should be good. And, uh, of course, we'll keep updating you here on Fox10TV.com, on Facebook, on the, the actual TV itself. We'll be out there. We'll let you know exactly what's happening. Once again, of course, um, let me go and pop up the... Um, the track for you one more time. Everybody join late. And I was once again mentioned nothing has changed. Everything, like I said, is right on schedule from what we uh, have been talking about the whole time. It's going to make landfall sometime on Sunday, particularly late afternoon. And um, looks like, I, like I said, everything's just on schedule. It's going to be a big rainmaker for us. Heavy rain, especially going into tonight, tomorrow, and Monday. I just expect some uh, periods of time that we'll see some very heavy showers, heavy rain. And uh, that's the what we expect out of Tropical Storm Cristobal. Once again, thanks so much for joining us. We'll be keeping you updated all through the next several days. Take care. See you soon.